M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So, Bofeng UV G30, apparently 10 watt radio. Let's have a look. About £25 from AliExpress. Let's open it up. And I've just literally just got this. Let's go through the basics. There's our instruction manual here. Nice to get one. They're very similar, aren't they? These manuals that are coming out from China now. They're okay. I do actually refer to them if I'm stuck on something. Now, some of the, a lot of these new uh, radios that are coming out with the color screens from China are very, very similar now. Uh, but this one is the one that said 10 watts. Uh, so first impression, very nice. I, you know, I really wanted a, you know, a red one. I just did, uh, and I wanted a 10 watt one. So. Uh, yeah, it feels nice and solid. Big solid knob, torch, SMA for the antenna. Looks like there's a probably squelch. There's your torch button. Screw to hold the battery on. It's not screwed in at the moment. Now, it does actually say on there 10 watt power. Okay. The battery looks no different than the battery that I would get on one of the other ones. 8.4 volt. Can we read that? Have a closer look. Can't really see, but hopefully there's a flat screwdriver in there to screw it on and USB-C charging. They're all coming out with these now. And I think eventually all batteries, even for older radios or many older radios, will be the same. I've noticed this before that you can see the sort of used markings for the cradle charger on these sometimes. But otherwise, you know, it does look bright, brand new take out what else is in the box. It did say I got a free gift. I'm not really sure if I will, but, oh, here it is here. It's a bit, oh, <laughs> it's a bit cracked. My free grip, my free gift. So something wants to fall out. It looks like that isn't a free gift. That is actually just a USB-C charger. Okay, so I'm just probably just a bit of broken plastic um, anyway, we'll play with that. I've got plenty of USB-C chargers. USB-C lead. Uh, no desktop charger apart... Oh, well, of course. Well, it sort of is, this thing. That's how it's come. I will make sure that that thing wraps thing around can't cause any problems. Flexi antenna. Typical type of... Uh, budget antenna and belt clip that's it in the box put it all where we can see it so we'll get ourselves a little flat screwdriver belt clip antenna battery a couple of screws there and we'll get the screwdriver and we'll screw the battery on and put the belt clip on okay let's uh loosen these screws HF in the background. Seems to be some activity now. There you go. Put the battery on. No cracks there. Screw. Screw that on. Hopefully there's some charge in there. Okay. Right, that's on there. And then it's actually always easier to put the belt, sorry, the handle grip before you put the battery on because that sort of gets in the way. There you are, it's poking through. Like, so I do put them on because when you're walking along, I, I take these when I'm walking the dog. You're going to, you know, you do drop though. You think you're never going to drop it, but you actually do always drop it. There's always a drop. Never known one that, where there wasn't. So, a couple of screws here. So, put one, line it up. Magnetic screw with a bit of luck. 
Once you've got one in, you're laughing, really. Oh. Okay, let's try and get one in. Doesn't really, the other, the second one doesn't need to line up. As long as you've got one in, I notice. And obviously don't cross threads, so just don't force the screw, basically. Oh, so you've got one in, then the, the other one's going to be nice and easy. We're going to test the power on this as well. I do have my little tester ready. Right, okay. Yeah, so it's a nice big belt clip. Big solid belt clip, strap, da da da, antenna on. The interface of this is very, it's virtually identical to my UV17. Shall I just quickly go and grab? So the thing that's different is the power. Plus this was nearly 10 pound, this was 10 pound more expensive. Right, okay. Let's get from a distance. It's hard to say if one is bigger or not. Hmm, it's really, yeah, it's quite difficult to say. You know, they're not identical. Very, very similar. Menu button, that's a back button, keypad. Torch on the 17 is at the bottom, which I actually prefer. They've both got the similar battery where they've got the USB charger on the back and you have a light that comes on when it's charging. Let's Let's put one on charge. Let's plug one in. And we've got one here somewhere. Like so. If you plug one in. Even though these are cheap, that you know they they are rugged, you know. You don't I've dropped a few, quite a few bowfungs in my time and there you are, I got a little light there and it probably goes green when it's fully charged or something and red when it's charging and it's on both right let's uh power up these devices i'm pretty sure the screens are identical welcome channel mode yeah nice clear screen no no complaints about that welcome frequency mode identical now let's type in my node which is four, four. Three, four. Oh no, it must be in memory mode. Now we need to remember how to get out of memory mode. So you hold down the green. Frequency mode. Frequency means VFO basically. Hold it again. Channel mode. Channel. And there's are some 11, channels in 10, here. Nine, eight, six. It does talk to you, you can turn that off. And to go into the main menu. Menu. Press that. And these all these menus are the same. There's your squelch, firmware, stopwatch, ooh. So you're gonna have your CTCSS, or you're adding a repeater to a, a, um, to a memory channel, and the tones, DCS. All the basics are gonna be in there. So let's um, do a, put the node in then. Menu. You hold for VFO. Menu. Let's hold it again. Frequency mode. Four, four, three, nice four, loudspeaker. Five, five, zero. We'll fire up my node. Now it's just key. It might, I might be able to use the DTMF. Let's try it. Key up. We need tone, so we'll go menu. menu. Just need 77. I need to turn it on. So we'll look for not tone. I think we're going the wrong way. No, keep going. That's your memory channel. Shift direction, no, we don't need that at the moment, but you'd use number 28 for your repeater. Get in there. Language is number 18, if you get stuck. Right, CTCSS, menu. Oh, that's a search. Okay, we don't want that. Let's 
There is a transmit CTSS menu. Go down to 77, and then when it's red, you know, when it's flashing, you press enter. We've now got that, 77. The menu. It does remember where you la the last memory selection. We don't need receive. I know we selected the tone, but did we turn it on? Just gonna check now. Just gonna back out and just key. Well, that was the torch. Oh yeah, torch at the top, which flashes as well. It's quite a bright torch. Yeah, hear that tone? That means the tone is on. So I just need to um, try the DTMF. So I'm gonna go key and go star three four one five two two. There you are, so that hat, so DTMF does work. That's good news. Um, so, we will test the power, but first of all, I'm just going to show you how to put in a repeater. Got a buzz there, it's probably my, my node. So we're going to go one, four, five... Uh, 600 GB three WR. I'm going to go menu. Menu. Number one is step. If you want to change that, squelch as well. You just let's say you want to select squelch. You select squelch. it. Which it, which is that? Whichever is flashing is the one you're going to select. Confirm. And you confirm again when you press it again. Stop watch. Yeah, interesting. So there's a reset on now. Forty two. Going backwards now. Many of these you wouldn't use really. Memory channel. So let's say I wanted that on the memory channel now. You just press it, then confirm. It's that easy. Offset, we're going to need that. So you go green. Offset and you would go 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0. Confirm. If you were going to do a two meter repeater if it was a 77 you'd go 7.600 remember to put the seven in front of the dot um, so we've got this that if we press now m0 fxb now we still need to put the shift in we go oh. menu we've got the offset amount there it is there 28 is plus or minus so we'll go menu Frequency direction. go to minus minus is flashing menu confirm we still need to get our tone of 94.8. So we're looking for frequency tone. There it is there. Transmit tone, menu. Right, so now we should get the repeater. M0FXP test test, M0FXP test. Pretty sure we did do it all correct. I mean, we are inside. Let's try one more time. Just check. M0 FXB test, test, test. M0 FXB test. I, I just noted that there's no T showing on the screen. That's all. I'd like to see that. But there isn't on here as well. Shouldn't need it. But anyway, uh, memory wise. So let's say we put our memory one. We'll go menu. Menu. We'll go down until we see the word memory. Memory channel, so we'll go, we'll put it on number six. Memory channel, transmitting memory. Memory channel, transmitting memory. So hopefully it's on number six. We back out and go hold down. Channel mode, hmm. five, six, seven, six. It's not on there, but I think the process is right. Let's now go back and test the actual power. So we'll hold it down. Frequency mode. And we'll get a tester on here. And there is a, a power adjustment. There's probably a shortcut to the power as well. If we look here, we got, look at that, number two. Is So if we, let's try, Green button, then two. Yeah, look, there's your high-low power. 
So it's green button, then whatever's written on the key. Green button. Oh. That's twin receive. ABR is your, is your how long the screen you want on. It's going to be a five second timeout on this. Right, we'll connect up my tester. Okay, well, there it is. I'll key up again. 4.6 watts. Dummy load on there. Two meters. 4.6 watts. If we go F. Two. Change power to low. Power. Confirm. Back out. Key. Oh. Don't push the alarm button. Two watts, right? So now let's put on the the five watt version. Remember that was four point six watts. Here's the five watt. Let's swap. All right, let's key up here. Five watt version, ten pound cheaper radio. It's actually higher powered actually giving out six watts on that one and let's uh, take the back off because they are labeled 10 watts so I mean it's pretty good six watts if you ask me to do that exactly the same configuration let's uh, see if I can get that battery off a bit fiddly on this one, the so-called five watt one, it doesn't actually, it isn't actually marked as five watt on this one. But we saw at the beginning of this video, that this one's actually marked as 10 watt, which is giving out less power. One last test. M0 FXB, that's low power. And then we're going to go menu. Menu. Power. Hi. Confirm. 4.6 watts. So it's a whole watt less than the 5 watt model, which was literally like 14, I think it was actually 14 pound delivered and I prefer the torch on the bottom. Torch on the bottom. I do like the red radio. I'm, I'm, this will, I still have lots of fun with this radio. I don't regret buying it. But um, yeah, usual story, isn't it? Bye for now, 7-3, all the best.